Hashtag RIP Fortnite is trending on Twitter worldwide. Players and creators all over the world are getting involved in this tweet. And I wanted to talk to you guys about this once and for all because I think it's time Epic Games need to wake up and listen to their community. Guys, tap subscribe right now for more discussions and news videos all the time. Feel free to use code mail in the shop if you'd like to. But let's get talking. For over 10 hours right now, the hashtag RIP Fortnite has been trending. Last I checked, over 50,000 tweets were made just on this hashtag alone. And clearly, people need Fortnite. Fortnite to listen. Since the beginning, we've always heard Fortnite is dying, Fortnite's gonna die, oh, it won't last too long, but that's always been blown off when we carry on playing. But I think without a doubt right now, Epic Games and Fortnite is at their lowest point ever in terms of numbers, and they're in a very vulnerable state. I don't know if it's just me, but something changed around season seven to season eight. When they started adjusting things like siphon, and then later on adding things like skill-based matchmaking, removing things like bounce pad and trick shotting. Like guys, remember the feeling of getting online in 2018 with your IRL friends, hopping into a pub match, getting 20 bombs, just bounce padding all over the map and just getting some crazy kills. And you could get wins after wins after wins and they'd all feel so fun. And now when you get a win, it just feels empty. Of course, this is just a hashtag. People hop onto it. People just tweet it out for the sake of it, for impressions or whatever, but it's trending worldwide. And this has given Fortnite a bad look. But do Fortnite deserve this bad look? Maybe and maybe not. Everyone's morale inside of Fortnite, players, creators, streamers, and even the competitive community, the casual players, everyone, everyone's got a low interest in the game right now. Well, why now? Well, I personally think this has been going on for months. Around six months ago, and it might have even been later than that, when Fortnite started introducing things like skill-based matchmaking, removing patch notes, reducing the communication, and in my opinion, putting in a little bit less effort, it felt as though at the time, maybe they were just trying something new out. Fortnite for almost two years were putting in weekly updates with tons and tons of effort and we got so used to that that maybe Fortnite just wanted to reduce it so that we could then reduce and accept that new normalness of having maybe an update every few weeks and a little bit less communication and no patch notes but then fast forward to today it feels as though they're just not putting in the effort in season one chapter two we went through a state of two months without any new additions we barely got any updates i don't know if you guys remember it but it was a really rough time for Fortnite, and i'm surprised that wasn't the downfall of Fortnite right there. People love Fortnite and people thought, you know, we'll give them a chance, we'll keep on playing, but still nothing has changed. We got no live event, which was something that we got for 10 whole seasons, guys. A final season end event, like the end event. It's all, but some good news is that it seems as though we're going to get one this season called the Doomsday event. Hopefully, fingers crossed, I'll keep you guys up to date on that. But the competitive scene seen reductions in events and in prize pools. Casual players just cannot keep up with the sweatiness inside of these public games at all. And even in Team Rumble, something that was seen as the easiest mode to get a win on is now a struggle just to get the win but the thing is epic have the ability to sort a few of these things out to bring back that fun of getting kills on noobs or kills on pros even like if you were a noob and you got a kill on someone really sweaty it was such a good feeling bring back patch notes at least in some way people hate having to figure things out for themselves it's just not fun and it never has been try and reignite that fun that we had in 2018 by bringing things back like the bounce pads and the impulse grenades and the planes. Guys, do you remember the Air Royale LTM? I think without a doubt that was the most fun LTM ever. When everyone had a plane, you could upgrade certain things on your plane. It was just so much fun. But it seems as though Fortnite just forget about fun LTMs like that. Why isn't there a cycle of LTMs going on? They've got so much ability. It just feels as though something's going on over at Epic HQ. Maybe they've got staff issues. Yes, as you know, right now there is an actual global outbreak happening and that is perfectly understandable. Of course there's going to be issues. There's, there's staff working from home. Of, co of course, there's going to be delays. But the problem is this has been going on for months and we've just now understood it. Clicks made this tweet earlier showing a streamer talking about the issues, especially inside of the competitive scene. And I want to show you guys it. No fucking war, man. Just don't care. They don't give us patch notes. They don't give us updates. Mobile has a better fucking prize pool than West. Fucking, I just don't understand what they're doing. There's no events. There's no communication. There's nothing. This game used to be fucking fun. I used to want to get on this game and play during trios meta. And right now, I legitimately, legitimately don't want to even get on. Never do want to get on. I legit feel like crying right now. This game 
is terrible. Like, they're not doing anything about controller players. They're not making any statement. They're doing adjustments without saying anything. There's heavy snipers in the game that they didn't. They told us they switched the engine, and this engine is so much shittier than the last one. There's so much more lag. Today, it felt like the laggiest it's ever fucking been. Uh, they just don't fucking care. And the issue with this is that the competitive scene, in my opinion right now, is Fortnite's strong point. We're seeing lots of normal streamers and content creators leave the game to try out new things like Valorant or Warzone, but the competitive scene are staying. People like clicks, all these pros like Tfue and such. But with opinions like that, as you just heard, clearly there's a problem and clicks is agreeing, lots of pros are agreeing on his replies. And of course, certain things are understandable. Video games get old, everything has to come to an end. But the thing that annoys me is that Fortnite can rebuild that hype if they just listen a bit more and just put in a little bit more effort. We're not asking for weekly updates, that doesn't matter. A little bit more communication, a little bit more effort in these patch notes. Like guys, if you haven't heard Valorant Riot Games take on a 5v5 shooter game released in beta over this past week. And we were all expecting Fortnite to drop a crazy update to bring back people and battle against the hype around Valorant, but nothing happened. Fortnite didn't care. Fortnite put out a maintenance update that literally fixed a few bugs. No additions, no leaks, nothing guys. Why? They've done things like this in the past when Apex Legends was about they were a big competitor. They competed crazily. They added a crazy update. And in my opinion, that impacted Apex Legends a lot. And that's the competitive side of Epic Games we want to see. But why did nothing happen? Of course, hashtag rip Fortnite does more harm than, uh, than any positives. But this should be a wake up call to Epic. People all over the globe, gamers or not, saw this trend on Twitter. And I feel like Epic Games are gonna see this and think, you know what? Maybe it's time. Orange Guy agrees. We don't tweet out hashtag rip Fortnite because we want the game to die. We tweet it because we need Epic to open their eyes. It's the only way to get them to realize. Over the past couple of months, we've seen a lot of pros quitting. Another one here, Poppy, just yesterday considering quitting Fortnite after the FNCS has ended. Epic haven't really made any announcement in terms of the World Cup or anything. And pros especially just aren't looking forward to anything. There's nothing to look forward to. I'm not a big pro player myself, but I understand that a lot of the frustration inside of the community is that epic are reducing how much money they put into these in, into these events for example the daily duo cups only first place can win money why can't they split that maybe top three maybe top five at least i feel like that would bring in more players to to go for that you know but that's just my opinion i want to know your opinions down below guys let's start a conversation what do you think epic can do are you feeling the same do you feel like fortnite just hasn't been the same for the past few months fortnite's in a very tricky situation right now with games like valorant on the rise can they put in the effort that they used to even just a little bit more they know what to fix they know what to change but nothing is happening fortnite just isn't the same so let's hope to god epic can take this as a realization let's hope this opens up their eyes but guys thank you so much for watching today's video if you are new around here as i say please hit that subscribe button guys i'd love to have you let's get out of the 100k trap we've been here for too long too long so i'd appreciate it so much guys get me up to 101k at least come on i'll be live later on my twitch channel playing a little bit valorant maybe even playing some fortnite night to do some challenges twitch.tv slash mills head on over come join my discord and i'll see you guys in the next one peace